The spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker is an industry accepted. Backflow Prevention Device Assembly that meets ASSE Standard 1056. The spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker performs the same as the pressure vacuum breaker as previously discussed in this training. Once the spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker is in a dynamic or back siphonage state, it functions the same as the pressure vacuum breaker. The difference is during startup. The failures of the spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker are comparable to the failures of a pressure vacuum breaker. Spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker, standards. A spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker is a modified pressure vacuum breaker. Like the pressure vacuum breaker, the spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker utilizes a replaceable check valve cartridge and a removable air inlet valve bonnet sub-assembly. The spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker is suitable for supply pressures up to 150 pounds per square inch. The minimum working pressure is 8 pounds per square inch. The water temperatures for a spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker range from 33 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. The spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker is available in sizes from 1 quarter inch to 1 inch. Spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker, features. The spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker incorporates a diaphragm seal that separates the air inlet from the potable water supply. This feature protects against any spillage during startup or operation by closing the air inlet valve before the check valve opens. The air inlet valve closes before the check valve opens, because the air inlet valve in the spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker has a lighter loading than the check valve. In the spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker, the water does not have to travel past the check valve to close the air inlet valve, as it does in the pressure vacuum breaker. Spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker test cock location The spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker has a single resilient seated test cock and a bleed-slash-vent valve typically a screw which substitutes as a test cock. The test cock is located upstream of the check valve. The vent bleed screw is located downstream of the check valve and upstream of the air inlet valve. The pressure vacuum breaker has two test cocks and no bleed vent valve. Spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker, components. The spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker shall be ASSE 1056 listed, and supplied with full port tightly closing resilient seated inlet and outlet shut off ball valves. Like the pressure vacuum breaker, the spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker is equipped with an independently operating internally loaded check valve and independently operating loaded air inlet valve located on the downstream side of the check valve. Like the pressure vacuum breaker, the spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker is equipped with an impact-resistant canopy or hood to guard the atmospheric vent from debris. Spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker, usage. Like the pressure vacuum breaker, the spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker is designed for use under constant pressure meaning that downstream shut-off valves can be utilized. They both shall be installed at least 12 inches above the uppermost outlet. Continuous pressure means 12 hours of uninterrupted use in a 24-hour period. Spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker, backflow. Similar to the pressure vacuum breaker, the spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker is designed to prevent non-potable water from entering the potable water due to a back siphonage hydraulic situation. Like the pressure vacuum breaker, the spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker can only be utilized where back siphonage is an issue. The spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker like the pressure vacuum breaker cannot be installed where back pressure or water hammer is or may be present in the downstream piping system. The downstream pressure shall always be less than the inlet pressure for these backflow prevention device assemblies to function as designed. Spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker health hazard The spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker is industry approved for use on machines or equipment in general indoor plumbing applications where the cross connection is classified as a high health hazard and continuous pressure is required. Spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker out of the box. When you take the spill-resistant pressure vacuum breaker out of the box, the check valve is closed and the air inlet valve is open. What is keeping the check valve closed and the air inlet valve open? The springs.
spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker, start up. When water enters the body of a pressure vacuum breaker the check valve opens. As the water passes through the open check valve, the water pressure closes the air inlet valve. As water flows through the body of a spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker, the water pressure closes the air inlet valve before the check valve opens. This designed action eliminates discharge from the air inlet port during startup. During startup and operation, a separate diaphragm seals the air inlet from the water supply preventing water spillage at any time during operation. During a static or dynamic state, the water pressure downstream of the spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker is less than the inlet pressure similar to the pressure vacuum breaker. When the spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker is in a pressurized static state with the upstream shut off valve open and downstream shut off valve closed, the check and air inlet valves are closed. The water pressure downstream of the downstream shut off valve is atmospheric providing there are no closed shut off valves on downstream piping. Spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker, back siphonage state. The spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker functions the same as the pressure vacuum breaker during a back siphonage situation. As the line pressure drops to sub atmospheric pressure, the spring loaded check valve will close and the spring loaded air inlet valve will open, breaking the vacuum preventing the non potable water from entering the potable water system. The downstream piping system is at atmospheric pressure if there are no closed valves downstream of the spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker. The spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker is providing protection since the check and air inlet valves are operational. If a back siphonage condition was occurring in the inlet piping system and the spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker spring loaded check valve was fouled open or did not close properly due to a disc or seat failure, the spring loaded air inlet valve would open allowing atmospheric pressure to be introduced into the air inlet port breaking the vacuum created by the back siphonage state. The downstream piping system is at atmospheric pressure if there are no closed valves downstream of the spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker. Despite the fact that the check valve did not close, the spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker is still providing protection since the air inlet valve opened breaking the siphon action created by the back siphonage situation. Spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker, back siphonage state foul check and air inlet valves. If a back siphonage condition is occurring in the inlet piping system and the spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker spring loaded check valve was fouled open or did not close properly, due to a disc or seat failure, and the spring loaded air inlet valve did not open, a cross connection incident is occurring. In this situation, the spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker is not providing protection since atmospheric pressure cannot be introduced to break the siphon action. The spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker like the pressure vacuum breaker is a mechanical device and subject to failures and requires periodic inspections and maintenance to determine if it is operating properly. Consequently, the spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker shall be tested at least annually or more frequently due to service circumstances, corrosive water conditions, and or unauthorized adjustments or repair could render a backflow prevention device assembly ineffective for the service intended. Regular inspections and cleaning of the internal components assure maximum life and proper function of a backflow prevention device assembly.